Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at phasor circuit analysis of series and parallel RLC circuits using Python. We will consider two common cases, a series RLC circuit with a sinusoidal voltage source and a parallel RLC circuit with a sinusoidal current source. We will discuss how to extract and plot the node voltages and branch currents in Python. Recall that phasor circuit analysis technique allows us to obtain the steady state solution directly using algebraic solution techniques without having to solve differential equations. This technique is explained in detail in another video in this channel. The link to that video is provided at the end in this video. Recall that the response of first order RC and RL circuits is characterized in terms of the time constant, having units of seconds. The time constant is R times C for an RC circuit and L over R for an RL circuit. S series and parallel RLC circuits are governed by second order differential equations. For such circuits, the response is characterized in terms of the damping ratio, which is the ratio of the Nepper frequency alpha to the resonant frequency omega naught. The resonant frequency omega naught exists in RLC circuits because capacitor and inductor are both energy storage elements. Thus, it is possible for the energy to bounce around between the two energy storage elements. The Nepper frequency alpha is the rate of energy loss in an RLC circuit. The equation for alpha is different for series RLC circuits and parallel RLC circuits. However, the equations for zeta and omega naught are the same. The significance of the damping ratio is as follows. If the damping ratio is 1 or greater than 1, then the response does not exhibit oscillation in the transient phase. If the damping ratio is less than 1, then the response exhibits oscillation or ringing. The oscillation rate is determined by the resonant frequency omega naught, and the oscillation amplitude decreases exponentially at a rate determined by alpha. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these relationships in more detail. Let us see how we can do transient simulation and phasor circuit analysis side by side in Python. The first example that we study is a series RLC circuit as shown. The input signal is a 1 volt amplitude and 5 kilohertz frequency sine wave. For R is equal to 2 kilo ohm, it can be shown that this series RLC circuit is critically damped. We are interested in the steady state voltages across the inductor, resistor and capacitor. We can use the sinusoidal voltage source command to define the input. Using descriptive node labeling, we can transform the circuit into a netlist as shown here. The simulator.transient command gives us the time domain simulated output voltages. For phasor circuit analysis, we transform the time domain circuit into phasor domain using phases and impedances. This series circuit can be easily analyzed using voltage division principle. The voltage across any of these impedances 
can be calculated using this general formula where Zt is the equivalent series impedance given by the sum of the impedances. For convenience, we define the phasor with respect to the sinusoid written as a sine function. We calculate the impedances. We calculate the phasor voltages using voltage division. Finally, we transform the voltages back to the time domain. The plotting commands for time domain voltage waveforms are shown here. We can access the node voltages using that syntax shown here. In order to plot the simulated voltages across the inductor and resistor, we need to subtract node voltages appropriately as shown here. Here we are plotting both the simulation and theory values. Also, we are formatting the x-axis using engineering format. This is the complete Python code to simulate the series RLC circuit. The code is available in the video description below. We have declarations at the top, the circuit netlist and the theory which was discussed is shown here. We determine whether the circuit is critically damped, over damped or under damped. The plotting commands are here. In addition to the time domain waveforms, we also plot the phasor diagram for the voltages. When we run this code, we can confirm that the circuit is indeed uh, critically damped. We can see from the time domain waveforms that there is no ringing in the transient phase and once the steady state is reached then the theory matches the simulation perfectly. The phasor diagram for the voltages is shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these plots in more detail. Next, let's look at a parallel RLC circuit with a sinusoidal current source. In order to obtain the current values in Python, there are three methods which are discussed in another video in this channel. The link to that video is provided at the end in this video. Here we are using method 1 which is to use a zero volt ideal independent voltage source to act as an ammeter in PySpice. A zero volt voltage source does not disturb the original circuit. We redraw the circuit as shown here adding zero volt ideal independent voltage sources in series with all the circuit elements. We select the orientation or polarity of the voltage source such that the current of interest in each branch is entering the positive terminal of the voltage source. Using descriptive node labeling, as shown here, we can transform this circuit into a netlist. The current source can be implemented using a sinusoidal current source command. Care must be taken when specifying the connections for the sinusoidal current source to ensure the correct direction for the current. For 500 ohms, this parallel RLC circuit is under damped. Similar to before, for circuit analysis, we transform the time domain circuit into phasor domain using phases and impedances. 
The parallel RLC circuit can be easily analyzed using current division principle. The current in each branch can be calculated using this general formula where Zt is the equivalent parallel impedance which can be calculated as shown here. The phasor calculations can be coded into Python as shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these in more detail. The plotting commands for the time domain current waveforms are shown here. We can access the branch currents stored in the ideal independent zero volt voltage sources using the syntax shown here. We are plotting both the theory and the simulation values. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this syntax to access and plot the branch currents in more detail. This is the Python code to simulate a parallel RLC circuit. The code is available in the comments section below. When we run this code, we obtain the plots. We can confirm that this circuit is under damped. From the time domain waveforms, when we look at the solid red, blue and green curves, which are the simulation outputs, we can see that there is ringing or oscillation in the transient phase. This is due to the circuit being under damped. After the transient phase is over, the theory matches simulation perf perfectly. The phasor diagrams for the currents in this case is shown here. Recall that phases rotate anti-clockwise in the complex domain. We can see that for the given component values, IC leads the input current while IL and IR lag the input current. In this video, we have summarized the theory and simulation of series and parallel RLC circuits. We have discussed two examples which show how to do the transient simulation and the phasor circuit analysis side by side in Python. We have also discussed how to access and plot the node voltages and branch currents in Python. Thank you for watching this video and supporting this channel.